Ebola virus outbreak in West Africa early last year was considered as the biggest outbreak in history. This was indeed a new phenomenon for Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone. By late November 2014, the World Health Organization reported 15,351 cumulative cases. The situation in Liberia has been particularly grave with nearly half of the 46% of the cumulative cases and about 42% case fatality rate. Uh, we all know that 98% uh, of the EVD outbreak cases were recorded in the three minor river basin countries. The hotspots in Liberia were Monsawado, Maghibi, Lofa, Bong, Nima, and Grand Basa counties. The social and economic impact of Ebola with regards to women and girls is quite noticeable in Liberia. The livelihoods of women involved in agriculture, trade, local, regional, and international, like the cross-border traders, or rural women, or market women, and other economic activities have indeed been affected gravely. The devastation caused by the impact of Ebola cut across all sectors of Liberia. We were all aware that thousands of families were affected and Liberia lost most of its already limited healthcare workers. In addition, the women and the girls became very vulnerable to the outbreak as they were at the front line to provide care to the infected relatives and their sick in their roles as uh, wives, mothers, daughters, and midwives. I contracted this virus by giving care to my in-law when she got critically ill, the 29th of Judah. Not knowing it was Ebola, taking her illness to be ordinary sickness. I took her because she was very helpless, not able to do anything for herself. Visited her in the room and trying to wake up from the ground, she fell on me. I took her and took her in the bathroom, bathed her and clothed her. And she requested to eat her daughter brought food. She ate. And when she got you eating, she requested for water. Before the water could reach her, she vomited the food with a pool of, pool of blood. Another dimension to the impact of Ebola, which is more evident in Liberia, is the issue of Ebola orphans. Liberia has documented 3,707 Ebola orphans, of which 1,798 are boys, 1,909 are girls. I lost 13 in my mother and father, my mother and father. My, fam my family, and I went to the, to, yet, uh, to the Ebola center I came back. Despite the social economic status, every child deserves a smile. There are increasing incidents of rape, gender-based violence, exploitation, and abuse. For example, some male EVD survivors are not observing the protocol and are willingly infecting their spouses or female partners, which is also a form of gender-based violence. Every woman deserves protection from all forms of violence. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, woman is the companion of men, gifted with equal mental capacity if by strength is meant moral power, then woman is immeasurably meant superior. If nonviolence is the law of our being, the future is with women.